Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are going to talk about the 90X Goal Planner. So this is another planner that is on Amazon. Right now it's about $28 on Amazon, but you know the Amazon prices can change daily. This is a planner made for 90 days, a 90 day focus on your goals. So it is something you would have to buy quarterly. So it focuses on a 90 day period. And this is pretty unique from most of the other daily planners like this that I've reviewed. So I'm excited to share it for, with you. They have many fun colors you can choose from. I got the rose gold. The side says hustle hard. And then the back has some really cool motivational um, words on there for you too. So I really like the design and aesthetic of this planner. It feels good in your hand. It's fun to pick a color you like and that is pleasing. It comes with one ribbon in here. It is a satin ribbon that matches the color of your planner and then it comes with a nice band that functions great and a nice accordion pocket that's plenty wide to put anything in there that you need. Okay, so they kind of summarize their system by saying it's an easy to follow system that will help you figure out your goals, set and follow through on them. All right, you have a nameplate page right here and then we get right into the planner. I would highly recommend uh, reading all this information when you buy the planner. It is very helpful. It explains a lot and that way you can get the most out of this planner. They also really nicely um, give all this in detail information on Amazon. So that is really helpful too. Okay, one thing they said in here that I wanted to read was, all productive people know is that being attentive to their goals on a daily basis is essential to their success. And that is the entire focus of the 90X planner. So that's kind of focuses in one statement and a summary of what this planner is about. All right, so they give you this getting started guide and they take you through the different parts of the planner. I would highly recommend you read all this. Um, they go through, you're gonna set your goals and you're gonna write the why on your goals. You're gonna list out your actions to make those goals happen. There is open space in this planner, of course, so you can have some creative space, you can sketch out ideas, um, do mind maps of your passions, doodle, brainstorm. You have one through 90 days outlined in this planner. Every day is given a two page spread. There is also an area to plan your day and we'll go into that. There is a really unique section called follow do and this is a word that they created and it's a section for your personal to-do list, your work to-do list, and your follow-up list. So we'll get into all that. Last week's wins and lessons learned, moving forward to next week, social media icons. What they're telling you is you can connect with other um, 90X Goal Planner users out there via social media to help support each other. Okay, so let's get into the pages. Then they have a whole section in here on how to fill out your pages. They fill out some example pages for you which I always think is really helpful myself. So you're gonna see all these pages back here when we go through them, but they're showing you how to fill them out. The pie of wealth, and see the side says how to, so you know this is the how to section. Your top five goals, why these goals, and so up here they're kind of explaining that, where they have it highlighted in gray, that is where they're explaining that section to you. Your main actions, your ideas, your 30 day overview, how your week looks, your week mapped out. And they are just labeled by number because this is for 90 days to start anytime you want to. And then how your days are filled out. Each day is numbered starting with day one through 90. So this is your daily two page spread. All right, that is their how to section. And then you have just a blank notes page here with some really light dotted lines. Let's get started. All right, this is a 90-day map of which 
is explained more in their explanation and on Amazon of how to use, but basically major checkpoints for your goals to look how they're going on this 90 day map. Then these are the things they showed you how to fill in in the how to section, the pie of wealth, which is basically just charting your multiple streams of income, your vision board, okay, then you are going to list your top five main goals for the next 90 days. They give you plenty of space here with four lines each. And then why these goals? And I do know that, that it's important to know the why. Why do you want to meet that goal? That makes it all the more um, real and important to you. You need to know why you want that goal. So what will motivate you to reach each goal? So those are going to coordinate with that page. Then your main actions. What will you do to achieve your goals? So for each of your five goals, you're going to write the main actions down. You get four lines here. And then there's um, by what? By what day number is that action going to happen to meet that goal? So you are listing yourself very specific dates on here. You, are, you have a very specific timeline. And you are not letting yourself just set a goal and be like, I hope I get there. That they are taking you step by step through the way of how to meet those goals. Ideas, what are you thinking about? And then you have your 30 day overview. This is not meant to be as a monthly calendar. This is meant to chart those major action steps for your goals because it is just numbered one through 30. That's it. And it's not the days of the week and it doesn't you know, leave room for you to start on the right day of the month. So this is not meant to be a monthly calendar spread at all. This is what's your starting date for this 30 day overview and notes right here. Okay. Then you start right on week one. So everything in here goes in order. There's not like different sections you have to flip to. This is your first 30 day overview. And then you start into week one. Before every week, you get this weekly layout, and then you go straight into your days. Okay, so for your weekly layout, you're creating an overview for your next week. What big and small events do you have to look forward to? What are you dreading? Jot it all down. And your action steps for your goals. So here's your week. It's a Sunday start. You have a note section. You can write what month you're in. Then down here, you're going to recap last week's wins and lessons learned. And what are your thoughts coming up for the next week? And it's clearly labeled you're on week one. Then you're going to start on day one. Each day is a two-page spread. I'm going to first show you a day that I haven't written on. And you can clearly see um, it is pretty good paper. There is no bleeding. There is little ghosting. I have not heard back from them on their paperweight. And I did not see that when reading through everything on Amazon. But when I hear back from them, um, I will stick it in the video here and write it on the screen there. So their paperweight um, fills probably, I don't know, my guess would be 100 GSM. But it feels pretty good to me. It holds pen well. This is a blue uh, Pilot G2.07. Uh, and that's the way your page looks when it's all written on and scribbled on the back. Okay, so let's look at the basic pay layout for each day. As you'll see, it just goes day two, day three, and you have a place to write your date every day. Every day you have five actions towards your goals. So what are they going to be for that day? Your five actions towards your goals. Then you get to plan your day. This is kind of your scheduling section, AM, PM. So what is your plan for your day? Then that is their created invented word, follow do for anything for your to-do list, for your personal to-do list, your work to-do list, your follow-up list, and it's numbered one through 10. And you have a pretty big margin up here to work with too, also, if you wanted to make that into something you needed to use every day. They give you a quote here most days, but some days they leave a blank for you to actually write in a favorite quote. So like this, this day, they put in a quote by Albert Einstein. And they're all really motivational. We cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. All right. And then you have a note section for every day. Because we all know every day we, have, we need to jot down notes. We might be on a phone call. We might be in a meeting. We might have an idea. 
So I really like this two page spread because it gives you plenty of room, plenty of room. Doesn't seem like you're gonna have to squish anything up because it is all laid out really nicely in your different sections for you. And that is how it goes through your, through your week. When you hit day seven, okay, then when you hit day seven, your next day is, before your next week starts, is to rewrite your goals and rewrite your actions. Now, this is really interesting because most people would kind of rebel against this, I think, and say, I don't need to rewrite my goals every single week. I don't need to rewrite my actions every single week. But this planner is based on a scientific approach. And you can read about all that on Amazon. They have it all outlined on there for you or on their site also, which I will list both down below in the description box. But there is definite um, studies and reasons why rewriting your goals keeps them forefront in your mind. It makes you more motivated to achieve them. It makes you more motivated to stay on track. It makes you stay on top of them. And after reading their different um, advice on this, I can say I completely agree with doing this. Now, would I do it at this point in my life? I'm not sure because my life is very crowded. But if I was trying to achieve specific goals, I would. I would. If I was trying to achieve some specific goals in a 90-day period or even one goal in a 90-day period, I would, I would do their method. I think it's outlined really well, and I think it is simple enough and guided enough that anyone can do it and achieve their goals. So also, in just my personal opinion, I don't think you have to work on five goals in the 90-day period. If you only have two goals, if you only have three goals, or if you only have one goal, I still think that this planner is really helpful for that. If you are trying to make some major things happen in your life, or they can even be minor, but they can be things that you have tried and tried to work on before, and it has not come to fruition, you have not made it happen, I think that this planner can be really helpful. That's just my personal opinion after having it in my hand. All right, so then you go into week two. So every week in between, you're going to rewrite your goals and rewrite your actions. Then you go into week two and you have your week laid out for you, same thing, and then you're on day eight. And so in between every week, you will see here, here's day 14, okay? They have some quotes interspersed in here. So I really like their font and I like those interspersed in here. I think they're motivating. Then you rewrite your goals again every week. And then they tell you how many days you have left. I really like that. So they're counting down for you. You only have 76 days left. I love that. I love that. And then you're on week three, and then you go through your week three. So it is the same system all the way through. Okay? And you have every month, you have another 30-day layout. Okay? Or well, they call it your 60-day overview because this is your second month. So you're going into day 60. So they're counting up to 90 is what they're doing with your 30 day overview. So this is 30 more days, but they're calling it your 60 day overview because it's day 31 through day 60. And so everything is in order. You're not searching in a different section for your weekly, for your monthly. It's like following like a book. And that's why the one bookmark is really sufficient for this book because you are just on that page right where you are. Okay, and so like I said, there's different motivational quotes throughout in between your weeks. Then you come to the end, and let me show you what's at the very end. So you have finished day 90. Amazing. Okay, that's just, that's the end of this 90-day journey, but you can turn right around and start a new one. So congratulations on achieving your goals. You made it. Write the goals that you achieved. How will you reward yourself for each accomplishment? What is your reward for each goal you achieved? What is next for you? What goals would you like to achieve next? And then you have some note pages at the end, which I really like that they included 
some note pages to scribble on. There's a few lines and a few, probably 10 or so pages, um, so 20 if you count front and back, a blank. And then that is the end. And we already talked about the band and the accordion folder. Yes, pocket, sorry, accordion pocket. So I really um, am glad that I got to review this planner for you. It's unique, like I said, to any that I've reviewed. And I think it is a really good system if you want to crush some goals and you really want to put that focus on. I think giving yourself the 90 days is a sustainable time to stay focused and work on those goals. I would love to hear from anyone who has used this planner or if you're planning to get it, I would love to hear that too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, happy planning, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.